Hello lovelies, welcome to our Create Yarnworks Trunk Show. Yay! Uh, Create Yarnworks is owned and run by Elise Koch, who lives on the Eastern Shore here in Maryland in Salisbury. So she's close to the beach, lucky gal. And Elise has been dying for a few years now. I think she started around 2016, 2015. Um, she dyes all of these in her kitchen. Uh, we're going to do it a little differently this way. I'm not going to hit on every single colorway because there's so many. Uh, but I do want to talk about all the different things that Elise has brought here for our trunk show this month. Uh, and yes, <clears throat> we have her gorgeous goodies for the entire month of January, which is really nice. Look how pretty these are. Uh, also, this month of January is our Happy Hooker happening which is our month long celebration of all the crochet. And as you know, uh, later, I guess not this month, but next month we'll do a video and show like all the winners, which is always kind of fun and exciting. Everybody likes winners. So uh, Elise has brought, as you can see, there's a bunch of spinning fiber. There's a bunch of yarn. So this is her Merino Stellina spinning fiber. And then on this wall, this is merino and milk fiber, spinning fiber. All the fiber twists are four ounces each. This is fluff that migrated on. So this basket is all blue face luster, except for this one is an undyed rambouillet, little fiber orphan. And then this basket is all Polworth silk. And then for yarn, we have fingering weight, 100% superwash merino. And we have bulky weight, 100% superwash merino. And we also have um, a sparkly fingering weight. There's a couple of sparkly bases, uh, but they're all the same price. All the sparkly yarns are 34. The 100% superwash merino are 30. And then this over here is particularly beautiful. This is a 50-50 merino silk. These here are the bulkies. And then above them are the fingering weight yarns. And all the 50-50 merino silk, whether it's fingering weight or if it's the bulky weight, chunky, bulky, it's the same. Those are $34 as well. Um, <clears throat> so I guess to get started, like these, so this is the super, this is superwash merino and Stellina fiber. And she's got all these gorgeous colors. It's like a whole, amazing rainbow of gloriosity. Uh, I think this is what wine country. Yeah, this one is wine country. And then we have pretty in pink, pretty in pink, raging red. There's a lot of raging red around here. Like her solid, that's raging red. And then this is raging red. This is raging red. Her red is so good. Uh, this is the raging red. Um, and then here's crimson slate. Okay, so getting ahead of ourselves. And we've got like pumpkin, broken peach. This is Goldilocks. I have some of this and started spinning it and I love it, I love it. Uh, and then this beautiful sea glass. This one's oceans deep. And then this bright Kelly green, like here's Irish with an exclamation point. Uh, forest, here's teal, blue. So, um, what is this one? This is navy. She's got like a bunch of navies. And then purples, stormy skies, tonal black. She's got some really good blacks. Um, and then speaking of, so here's a close look at the 100% merino bulky. These are all on the website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash create yarnworks. See, here's the broken peach again, golden Harvest Goldilocks, which is the same as this pretty fiber that I have. And then this is Grinch, Mermaid Dream. And then there's like the peacock version of Mermaid Dream. Uh, this tortoise shell colorway is really lovely. Uh, and then over here, here's like some tealy ones. This is Ocean's Deep. This is Rose Garden. Look, we're going through all the colorways anyway. 
<laughs> uh, this one's Unicorn Vomit, and Unicorn Vomit and 80s Remix both are black light reactive, so they will glow under the black light, which is lovely. And they have almost black and shades of gray. And then up here, this is like a single tempting teal. This is like a base that is slightly different than the other ones. So it's like a two ply and see this gold Selena base, this is like a three ply. So this also is like a tonal teal. It's pretty. Uh, and this, which is slightly different from the purple and white is on like a, a base that's got Lorax. And the Lorax is like, it's really pretty. Oh, and then we should look at this Galaxy. So here's Galaxy. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then of course more tortoise shell, some Goldilocks, Raging Red, Tonal Forest. Okay, and then we've got the 5050 silks over here. Here's our whole beautiful rainbow. I did have the 5050 silk tortoise shell in the bulky, but it got bought out yesterday. You know, at least just dropped this stuff off on Thursday. Today is Saturday. So it's going fast, which is exciting. So if you see it and you love it, you should get it. <laughs> uh, and I do have some dupes and she did say, uh, this one is Aurora. This one's really pretty. It looks kind of like Galaxy, but she didn't put a name on it. So I guess it's Galaxy, but I don't know for sure. So I think on, I think we have it listed as, see, no colorway name. So I think we have it listed as like one of a kind pink blue but you should be able to see it because there will be a photo of it on the website. This I really like a lot. This is this pink, green, blue. She has it in this um, merino silk in the bulky and in the fingering. But also, <clears throat> it's in this super bulky. Isn't that lovely? Oh, and I should say these giant super bulky hanks, these are seven ounces each and you get 143 yards per seven ounce skein. And this again is that 80s Reeve mix, which is black light reactive. So basically it's like a double skein. So when you're looking at that $48, think of it like you're paying $24 each for two instead of just 48 for one. Makes it a little better in your mind. <laughs> and then um, of course, like this is 100% blue face Lester in um, these fiber braids or fiber twists, we should say. BFL is really nice to spin, drafts beautifully. And then there's some plain if you need white. And then of course the Polworth silk is just lovely and luminous. Look at all that silk. That's just really look at that I know I keep picking up this yellow I love it I've been in like a yellow mood lately but then this also like this is really this is it in oceans deep gosh look at that isn't that stunning it's like this right here so pretty it's like a seashell like sea foam crashing it's oh beautiful and then there, here's the tortoise shell. And then of course, you know, since we're in Baltimore, we've got Purple Rain, you know, for Prince fans and Ravens fans. Whoops, just got floof migrated on here. Ugh, and it won't go away. But yeah, so Purple Rain, and Purple Rain is not only on fiber, but it's also on some, um, isn't this pretty, this teal and purple. But it's also on some yarn as well. Oh yeah, and yarn stats. Okay, so the 5050 Merino Silk in fingering weight, you get 385 yards for 100 grams. In the bulky, you get 110 yards for 100 grams. And the bulky Superwash Merino here, you also get 110 grams. And then in the sparkle, you get around 440 grams, or 440 grams, 440 yards, 110 yards, 440 yards, jeez Louise. And then 385 yards, 110 yards. This 100% superwash merino fingering, you also get 440 yards. Uh, here's some more unicorn vomit on the fingering weights. 
And then, of course, this dragon's tail. This is really pretty. Uh, and here's all the color world moving silhouettes. Here's the crimson slate, rage and red. Uh, this is 80s remix, which is not to be confused with reboot. So the reboot came out, I guess, like a little grayer, but it also is black light reactive. So you can kind of see the difference there. And here we go. So we'll stand back and pair. So here is, I think this is the purple rain. This is the purple rain. Here's the purple rain on yarn. You know, our Ravens are doing really well <laughs> in football for anyone who follows. I, wa I saw that game that they played against Miami. Oh my gosh, it was almost embarrassing to watch. So here we have it. So this is all the Super Wash Merino, 440 yards. And then this Merino milk fiber is so cool. Like also her Super Wash Merino base is incredibly soft. It's some of the softest Super Wash Merino I think I felt. It's really, really nice. Uh, she uses like a bunch of different mills. I think she uses well, some up in Canada, some from around here. She, like she sources from all over. So her stuff is generally really interesting. And then she said that she's looking at getting a new slub base as well. And oh, through the years, like she's had all sorts of interesting stuff. Like she's had some camel, um, a bunch of yak. So, you know, Elise is pretty fearless. She gets all kinds of neat things. And I like that it's a little bit different. And this 50-50, so look at the shine on that. That's so nice. So the, here's this milk fiber on the watermelon. And so the milk fiber, it looks like it's a silk alternative. Like look how pretty that is. It's just really shiny. So they started turning uh, milk into spinnable fiber and yarn. I think it was, was it during World War II to compete with the Merino market because it was less expensive? than doing the wool, I don't know. So now I think it started like in Italy. And uh, so they still put milk fiber in some yarn and some fiber. And as it says, this was a custom blend done just for her. And each of her fiber twists is four ounces. Isn't that beautiful? She says this is really nice to spin too. So with all these gorgeous colors, smushalicious. And then over here, this super bulky also is in a bunch of colors. And this also is really soft. And the super bulky is 100% super wash merino and confirm 143 yards. Um, I like that this is preppy and we also have pretty in pink. <laughs> so here we have it, all the colors. They always look a little bit different on the computer than they do in real life, but hopefully in the video, like try to get the colors to look how they actually look in real life. So, and again, like all of this is available on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash create yarn works. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, or requests for um, other videos. I know we used to do like a whole bunch of tutorials and I need to get back to doing some of those and it's, I've been really bad about it. But if you have suggestions for, or requests for a certain type of tutorial, please let me know. Uh, you can send me an email, lovelyyarns at gmail.com. Lovelyyarns is all one word, one Y. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy stitching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. Happy New Year.